Hello 212 students. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a layer, a vector shape file that already exists, and add a field to it in its attribute table. So as you recall, an attribute table contains all the data that is associated with these geometries or shapes. Right here we have a layer that is North America, uh, states and provinces of US and Canada. And if I click the select tool up here and select, let's say British Columbia, we'll see that all this information, this row, goes to British Columbia. It's got a bunch of things, including name, where, what country it belongs to, what type is, lots of information. But let's say it didn't have all the information I wanted. I can actually add a field to this, uh, every layer, every, every shape in this layer I can add a field to and populate it with information. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first things first, the layer has to be saved on our V drive. It can, or in this case, the Z drive, which I have access to. It cannot be on the Q drive because you do not have access to it. So since this layer is on my Z drive, which is fine for me, I can use it. So what you do is you go up here in the attribute table where it says fields and you're gonna click add. And you're gonna see there's rows with all of the columns. Each one of these is one of the columns back in our attribute table. So in order to add one, we go to the very bottom and we're gonna add one. I'm gonna call it area. Okay. And I'm gonna press enter. Uh, alias is just the name it will go by that looks a little bit nicer if you want to put one in there, but this is the official name, it can't have spaces. Okay, data type is important. You can only put certain types of values in the field based off of what data type it is. Long is indicating it's a long number, okay? Short is a short number. A float is a number with a decimal in it, so on. So you can only put characters like in the alphabet if it's text. Okay, since area is gonna be a number, I'm gonna actually put it as float. I want a decimal. Okay, after you do all this, you have to press save, okay? You don't click the save up here in the top left, you click the save up here. Now, if we close this and go to our provinces, if we go all the way to the right, there's a new column called area, but you'll notice it's all null, or in other words, empty at the moment. So we have to fill it, okay? So in order to do that, I'm gonna show you a new tool. You're gonna to right click on that column and you're gonna do something called a calculate geometry. This will calculate number values on all shapes based off of their geometry. Okay, it'll bring up a geo processing pane right here. We say, this is the layer I want. This is the field I want. And what property do I want to give it? I want to give it an area. Okay, and then I even get to choose what area I, what unit I want the area to be based off of. Let's do square miles, okay? Make sure to choose the coordinate system that the map's using. Actually, we'll just do the one the layer is in. Yep, and then we're gonna click run. Watch what happens over here after the tool runs. Every single state and province will be assigned a value. That is square miles, okay? So that is gonna be how we add a field and how we populate it. I'm gonna show you in the next video another field, a way to populate fields, which will be called, which will be called this calculate field.